All right, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. We are, today we're gonna to be making a tire rack for the trailer because in two weeks time, we're going to Mount Gambia for a three day Matsuri. We're gonna need bulk tires. So uh, yeah, come along for the ride. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're gonna wing it and hopefully come out all right. Trey and Blake are just rocks around. Hey, Blake's in there playing motorbikes. He's brought his weld around. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can make a decent tire rack. Get plenty of tyres on here. Save trying to put them in the tow vehicle and shit, it's just a nightmare. So, I've got myself some steel here, it's three mil thick SHS. I've got like 16 metres of it. Got some other box tubing, this is five, six mil thick, I think. So, this is going to be a sleeve that we're going to weld on in four spots on the outside of the trailer, and the other tubing can slide in there with a pin go through it, and then it's just removable that way. So uh, yeah, I'll try to show you what we're doing as we go along, so if you're planning on doing it, then you can learn off our mistakes. Oh, fuck off, guys. <laughs> Took it for a little ride. Uh, Blake and Trey had a big night last night, so they're going to be next to no help. <laughs> I've just got to point, the weld, point it where I need welded, and Blake will weld it. <laughs> Sounds about right. Jay Scott, Jess, Jesse owes Blake another fucking favour. Uh, I'll put a photo up here of what I sort of want it to come out like. It might not come out anything like that, but that's sort of the idea that we're going for. Yeah, let's get ripping into it. What's the process here, mate? Well, trying to work out how far apart we want them. Yeah, something like that. I want to still be able to put small wheels on there if I want, I suppose. I don't know. It's going to be weird, though. If I've got a bar going through the guts, the tides are just going to be out of it. I'm the engineer. It's in the brain, mate. Take measuring here. 487. There's a mill in it. Yeah. So it's like if it needs to come out like a little bit, just gap out and then tuck in there. What have you done there? I squashed my finger up. In what? Between like a fucking big fuck off frame at work and a pellet. Bet that tickled. Really is one. Yeah. So. <laughs> what up? Alright, we're gonna cut our uh, sleeves to go in. All four corners at 120, I think. I think that'll be just fine. So 120, 240, 360, and 480. Something like that. It's going to be a bit different once we cut them, but I'm not, they don't have to be identical. There's some real safety glasses, oh, I'm coughing. How are you, how are we travelling mate? Oh yeah, that's some thick uh, steel, real thick. Gonna be here while cutting the uh, steel. The other tubes are only three mil thick though, so hopefully they're a bit easier. But uh, yeah, just my go. Just gotta do the metal test, seeing how thick it is. Blake, you got this one? Um, now yeah, we're just gonna cut these off here and go down like this. Cut that up against there, it's gonna have a bit of an overlap. <coughs> it's actually gonna slot in a bit. Give a bit more strength. Fab things. Yeah, fab things. Fab things. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, you can see what we're doing, but. Bit of a uh, notch out of there and boink. Probably 
you doing here, mate? Oh, all sorts of cool things. I'm trying to work out how we're going to get these to all come up. That's straight. Loving it? Oh. Good. It's a learning experience, it always is. Good call. Stepping over these big learning curves. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe get the le trailer level and then just make everything level. Could be a go, but I don't even know how level this level is. So is it really level? This thing's looking down this way, mate. Oh yeah, it's doing some quick math. 1350 plus 1350, 27. Then cut the uh, upright. Bloody noise. Bit of clock out at the uh, J. Scott Drifts factory. Blake's over there doing something for a change. These brains have been put on a pan, shallow fried to crisp. You got what? How'd you go with your weld, mate? Oh, shocking. Well, you gave me a bloody five mil gap to try, Phil. And yeah, it's um, mm. yeah, we'll, we'll be grinding that one. Yeah, gr grind and paint make you the welder you won't. I had another go at welding. I've already hit it with a grinder that I should have showed you before I grinded it. But yeah, still a little bit uh, work for improvement. Uh, room for improvement is the word I'm looking for. Still in that. What have we got going on over here, mate? Oh, I ripped the diff out, mate. So, throw some weld at it. Eww! Weldy going in the 33. Do some duggets. Eww! There's only one way to test a freshly welded diff, too. That's it, mate. Hold a wide, let it slide. <laughs> Yeah, it's over. There we go. Oh, mate, you're just spitting off more than a chew. You reckon? Nah, just pain in the ears. Just gotta Very cool. try to get it all square and plumb and nice enough. Doesn't have to be perfect, but. Yeah. Yeah. Cut some uh, in betweens. Maybe one up the top. Possibly one somewhere else. Okay, and then, yeah, do the same on the other side, join them and eventually have, eventually have some sort of bar that just goes through all the wheels. But I think for now, I'll ma make it so we can do that, but I'll probably just end up ratchet strapping them all in for now. Yeah. 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 We got all the sleeves welded on, somewhat in the right position. It's good enough, I think. Let's see how we do. It's too hard to get it all plumb and nice enough. It's square or level on the trailer, so just make it look all right to the eye, and away you go. What's up, YouTube? Jay Scott Drifts here. What's going on, this jolly ollie? Coming at you live from Custom Grove 420, <laughs> the number one channel designed for cannabis patients and adults. <laughs> so uh, today, we are, yeah, we're smoking some tyre wraps. So we've got our, one of our in-betweens. We're just going to tack it on and then try to get these things square. It's, um, yeah, it's not, a, not an easy task, to be 100% honest. Yeah, tack it. I mean, it might work, it's just not going to look real pretty. I 
Alright, oh, no, that'll do. Problem? Oh, so I'll just cut these up. Blake just trimmed this one up. It's uh, yeah, yeah, it's that. So uh, that goes there, caps off them so we don't get any water and stuff falling in there. And just another brace as well, so we'll pump that full of weld. I'll just cut another one for the other side that I need to clean up, and um, yeah, that'll be that. And then we'll do our bars across. We'll get it all like tacked together and looking where we want it before we fill all the welds because we pump all the welds now and then it's all skewy if it doesn't line up then we're shagged and have to start again so get it all tacked and looking nice and then we'll leave Blake to it we'll go inside and he'll sit here for an hour pumping welds <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that one mate yeah, another day at the office man <laughs> be down Right, so we've just tacked in this alongside all of them. I don't know if you guys have already seen that, but we've got those two horizontals in and this horizontal in. And now I'll measure this one, get that tacked in, and then we'll pretty much have the frame like all tacked up. Just want to get it tacked first, like I said before, just so it's all tacked and we can check that it's how we want it, and then we can pump it all for a while so it's not going anywhere. It's, it's not wobbling anymore. I hope it comes in and out alright. It's pretty, feels pretty solid in those sleeves. No need for the pins. Try, just try it. Just try and pull it out with me, Blake. Oh, don't try it too much. <laughs> oh, it's broken. Actually. Oh. Yeah, it's not too much. Yeah, it'll be a wriggle out job. Wriggle out job. That side feels good, it looks alright. Nah, it's going to be awfully interesting trying to pull it out when it's all actually well together, but you'll get it out if you really want to do it. That should be alright, we'll see how we go, see what, see what it's like once it's all welded. And yeah, I'll measure this one, get that cart, get it tacked on, and progress. Let's see. Know the truth. Oof. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a tire rack if I've ever seen one. It holds a tire. It's a tire rack, not a tires rack. Let me do Alrighty, so Blake's just been pumping out some welds. Absolutely filling the thing. Looking good. Didn't take him long. He's absolutely filled it. He's still doing something now, as you can see. And I'm getting blinded. Oh, you just blew a fuse, did you? Uh, now yeah, he's just going to weld the sleeves onto the trailer. Something like that. Shano's come around and he's clapped out VE Commodore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a rack, baby, all welded up. Blake's laid down some fat slugs in a sturdy as fuck. It's not going anywhere. Looking good. The uh, the paint I got from Bunnings is actually the wrong type. It's the same colour as the new shed, Woodman Grey. And uh, yeah, it's the wrong shade, so I'm gonna have to get something a bit darker. But for now, this is gonna do the trick. Oh, I'm getting off here. <laughs> But uh, yeah, looking good. I fucking have too many beers. <laughs> yeah, basically, when I can be asked, I'm gonna put plate going on the front side, maybe the back side, maybe the front. Plate going down here, or even through there. Depends on the wheel sit, but I wanna have something that I can put tube through to hold the center of the wheels down so I don't have to ratchet strap all the wheels to this. But see what happens if I do that before Mount Gambia, then I do. Otherwise, ratchet strap through all the wheels and around there will work just fine. But all in all, pretty happy with how that came out. It still pulls out as well. Well, it did before he welded the sleeves on. I think it still would. Alrighty, tie rack is looking sweet. <laughs>
I'm on front camera, so everything's in reverse, but because I'm filming on my phone, because the stupid big camera's battery lasts fuck all. Yeah, looking Mickey Mouse. We've got eight tyres on there, fits eight comfortably. So, yeah, should be no drama, should be heaps to get us through the three day Matsuri. Yeah, I'll um, probably gonna wrap it up here. I will give you a glimpse of what it looks like all painted. The paint I picked up is wrong, so I will add in some footage after this of when I've actually painted it and looking nice and possibly a plate and a bar to go through here to hold all the wheels and tyres in place but I'm pretty undecided on when I'm going to do that I do need you to weld up my exhaust manifold too mm. <laughs> yeah should we do that now? yeah so we need to do that that's going to be in a separate video though that you're going to see after this one because Matrix, mate. But yeah, super stoked to see how this come out. If you are watching this video and you're planning on making your own, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't really that hard at all, to be honest. Like, just I was just stressing about making everything line up and making it level and nice. But towards the end there, I sort of just decided it's not a piano, and you sort of just got to bang some weld on, and yeah, like it looks fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And we didn't really put much effort into trying to make it level or anything like that. Just sort of welded it together. Can't complain of that. So, yeah, just smack it together. Don't get too anal like I like to with a lot of things. Yeah. Super stoked that it's come out. Obviously needs paint and stuff and it does come in and out all right. It's not going to come in and out very often, so it doesn't have to be that easy to pull out. And it's sturdy as. We'll still drill holes and put bolts through there just a bit of a safety feature stop it flying out with some hectic winds yeah that'll be mint getting to gambia smashing three days of matsuri yeah but uh it's uh what kind huh? 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 all right it's a few days later and i just thought i'd give you a bit of a gander at the tire rack all painted um Bunnings only had two cans of the stuff I wanted, so I think it might need another coat, but there it is there, and the trailer still needs paint, so I'm gonna have to pick some more up anyway for that. But yeah, there you have it. Gonna wrap this video up here. Hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully maybe you even learnt something. If you're thinking about making one yourself, then maybe this gave you the uh, courage to do so, because it wasn't actually that hard, really. It was a bit frightening at first, but nah, piece of piss. Cut some shit, weld some shit. <laughs> yeah, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, drop a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.